This week on In the Kitchen with Pete, we're cooking a dish the whole family will enjoy. Tortilla lasagna. You're gonna love it. I'm often inspired to create recipes just by some ideas that friends, people like yourselves give me. Well, my good friend Gus, we both retired from the fire hall. We started the same day back in 1987, how time flies. Well, he donates his time and skills along with many others at the Friday night community meal bag program at the Wellington Square United Church in the city of Burlington. I'll leave all that information at the end of the video if you feel like donating to a good cause. So I said, Gus, what are you guys cooking up at the church this week? He says, well, we got some Mexican flavors. We got some tortillas. We're layering them. And that's all it took. That was my inspiration to get thinking and get cooking. Well, great job to all the Friday Night Community Meal Bag Program folks that are working hard there. Let's get cooking. We'll need some green or black sliced olives and then just give them a rough chop. We'll end up with three quarters of a cup. Set them aside. In a large skillet, we'll add one teaspoon of olive oil on a medium to high heat, and we'll add three quarters of a cup of onions, finely diced. We want to soften those up. Just saute them for four or five minutes. Remove the onions from the center of the pan and add two cloves of finely diced garlic. And add a little drizzle of olive oil on top. Garlic can burn quickly on its own. So stir it for about one minute and then mix it up with the onions. Add one pound of lean ground beef. Stir continuously until the meat has browned. Lean your pan to one side and drain off any excess fat. Now let's get some flavor into this. We'll add one package of taco seasoning. You can find this at any grocery store. This one is Old El Paso. Simply sprinkle it over top of the ground beef. Then add two thirds of a cup of water and bring it to a boil. Lower the temperature and let it simmer for about three minutes just to let it thicken up a bit. Pour the meat mixture into a mixing bowl and let's add some more flavor. Your favorite salsa. I'm using a medium salsa. This is extra chunky. Add two cups of the salsa and then we'll add our diced olives, three quarters of a cup and mix this all well. I'm using the tinfoil 8 inch square cake pans. Then we'll need three soft tortillas, about 9 or 10 inches in diameter, and that'll fit just perfect in our 8 inch pans. Next we'll trim our tortillas to fit the pan. I like to use a pizza cutter, but a sharp knife will do it just as well. We'll cut this to fit our pan. Now not to worry, if you make a mistake, all these little end pieces that we have, we can simply fill in the corners or the sides if it doesn't fit perfectly. It's simple, just like that. Apply a light coating of cooking spray to the pan a little bit of olive oil will work as well. Then we'll place one tortilla in the bottom of the pan and then half of our meat mixture and spread it evenly on top of the tortilla. Now here's a great tip. I want some dollops of sour cream on top of the meat mixture. So I just use a medium sized freezer bag, snipped off one of the corners and voila, I got myself a perfect piping bag. Next, we'll add a layer of grated medium cheddar cheese. 
If you prefer an aged or a mild cheese, that'll work just as well. Spread that evenly, and then our next item will be a second tortilla. Place that on the cheese and then gently flatten it out with a spatula. Now next is the remainder of our meat mixture. And again, lay it on top of the tortilla, spread it out evenly. Then we'll repeat the steps with some dollops of sour cream and another one and a half cups of grated cheddar cheese. Then we'll place our third and last tortilla on top of the cheese, gently pat down with a spatula. On top of our last tortilla, we're going to place some taco sauce on top. You can find this at your local grocer, and alternatively, you could use a simple tomato sauce. Using a spoon, apply a generous amount of the taco sauce. And then on top of that, we'll add some more grated medium cheddar cheese. About one cup should do it. Now here's a handy tip. Rather than using tin foil on top, it sticks to it. I'm gonna use a second pan and use that as my lid. Then that will go into the oven at 375 degrees for 25 minutes. Remove the lid and then back into the oven for another 20 minutes. And here it is, fresh out of the oven, nice and hot and bubbly. Look at that golden brown. Oh my, you're gonna love it. If you've ever had a taco salad, you'll appreciate these flavors together. Some nice, cold, crunchy lettuce and a little dollop of sour cream on the side. Now that makes the perfect meal. Now here's a great little snack. Do you remember all those little tortilla cut ends? Toss them in a little bit of olive oil and then lightly dress them with a little bit of allspice, cumin, and brown sugar. Into the oven, 375, five minutes. Give them a flip and then another three or four minutes and voila, a crunchy little treat. Well, that was another simple and delicious recipe. And I have many more. I'm approaching 150 videos on YouTube. If you like them, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down below and you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. I'd like to give another shout out to the Friday Night Community Meal Bag Program. All those good folks making up all those delicious meals for hundreds of people in the Burlington area. Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya! If you're interested in donating, here are some of the items they are currently in need of. At the bottom of the page, you'll find the address to drop off and the contact information.